Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino. My name is James Gaysbrook. I am looking at some more lovely wines from Darrenburg Winery based in the McLaren Vale region of South Australia. Uh, I've said it before, I'll say it again, very prolific wine producer, uh, a number of products, to say the least, in their range. And it's always uh, a pleasure to have the opportunity to taste some new releases, new vintages. And uh, we're looking at two white wines, uh, both from the same variety, both from the same vintage on this edition. So without further ado, let's start off by looking at the Olive Grove, which is a Chardonnay blended uh, from McLaren Vale and the Adelaide Hills. Uh, recommended retail for this product is $15. Uh, I hope that you are all well and um, eagerly anticipating the arrival of uh, whatever uh, end of year uh, festival or um, celebration you might choose to uh, acknowledge and enjoy uh, and then uh, we'll be in 2018 hopefully 2018 is uh, a bit better than 2017 was anyway I'm not sure what I'm talking about, I'm rambling here. Let's uh, have a look at this wine, the olive growth. Nice and bright, very, very classic varietal fruit character on the nose. Lots of stone fruit, um, white peach, uh, apricot, nectarine. A little bit of orange blossom and a bit of orange zest as well. Just the faintest amount of um, of toastiness, but uh, absolutely, you know, textbook Chardonnay aromatics. Let's taste. Generosity of fruit on the palate, certainly some presence there, uh, some, some, a bit of weight uh, and a bit of, of viscosity as well. Um, clocking in at, if I can find it, 13.4% alcohol, not super right, but um, there is some lovely generosity there. I think that's a uh, extremely solid Chardonnay for $15. Chardonnay is a variety that uh, it does cost a little bit more. A good quality Chardonnay does cost a little bit more to produce and a little bit more involved with it. Like Pinot Noir, you sort of need to spend um, in the vicinity of $20 or more. So to see a, 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 a very, very solid Chardonnay for $15 uh, is, uh, is, is very, um, encouraging I guess so the Olive Grove very consistent uh, very solid wine for the Darrenberg range the second wine we're going to look at is the Lucky Lizard which is a uh, recommended retail of $25 so $10 more expensive uh, and this is exclusively from the Adelaide Hills region uh, one of the top Chardonnay regions in Australia is the Adelaide Hills uh, it is, I suppose, the sort of equivalent of uh, the Yarra Valley uh, for for South Australia. Slightly tighter, leaner, flintier, not not as much sort of ripe stone fruit characters. I would say that that's probably more to do with the Adelaide Hills being a slightly cooler climate than McLaren Vale. More citrus, more kind of lemon and lanolin yeah like sort of a, a lemon oil slightly more precise and finer less kind of toastiness less, less kind of uh, sugary apricot kind of character just a, just that little bit of flint as well let's taste Not dissimilar weight, 
but um, certainly sort of fresher, um, fresher fruit characters. Uh, n not again on the palate, uh, consistent with the nose. Um, less kind of oily, toasty sort of texture. Um, this is more pithy, sort of more leaves derived. Um, finer, fresher. Uh, again, a, a really, really outstanding Chardonnay. Twenty five dollars. I, I highly recommend both of these. They are slightly different styles, slightly different expressions of the variety, but I think for the money, they are hugely over-delivering in terms of quality. Uh, and yeah, I, I really, really do endorse them. So well done, Darren Berg, well done, um, Chester. Uh, very good work. Uh, I believe I, I just saw a, a press release announcing the official opening of the Cube. Uh, so if you're in the McLaren Vale region, go and check out Darren Bird Q because uh, apparently it is quite extraordinary. I'm looking forward to heading over and visiting myself. Uh, thank you, of course, for donating some samples and uh, I'm, I'm always looking forward to uh, receiving more samples. If you would like to see your wines profiled here on Let's Taste with the Intrepid Wino, get in contact with me via my website, intrepidwino.com, uh, and I'd be happy to provide uh, an address for you to send. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video guys, if you did enjoy it please hit the like button, uh, share it on social media, please leave a comment below, ask a question, uh, share an experience of Darren Berg uh, and make sure you subscribe to the Intrepid Wino YouTube channel. You can follow me on social media at Intrepid Wino on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and of course I'd love for you to visit me at IntrepidWino.com, different ways to get in contact with me there as well as lots of different content. Uh, including my podcast, The Vincast. But guys, until next time, cheers.